Hi everyone, this is Perik from P2 Design. In this new tutorial, I will show you my tips and tricks to create nice muscles and skin deformation using corrective shape keys and driven normal maps. This is a pretty advanced tutorial, so I encourage you to have a look at the tutorial listed in the comment of this video. Our goal is to have those nice wrinkles on the forehead, the nose, uh, the lion uh, wrinkles appearing while uh, moving the face or the skin folding here, the veins, uh, the muscle on the forearm or even the tendon getting um, less stretched. The first thing I do before I create shape keys is to separate my mesh in two parts using vertex group, one half left and one half right. So <coughs> I select all the points and only the middle lines will be assigned with a 0 0.5 value for both vertex group. And this will cut uh, the job to be done in, in two parts, in half I will say, because uh, you will just have to create shape keys on one side and then mirror them <laughs> and just uh, separate them using those vertex groups. So let's create a first shape key for the biceps of the, the arm left. So name everything properly and enable the um, deformation of the armature in edit mode. That will really help you so that you can work on the shape key with the deformation of uh, the, the rig displayed. The second important thing is to enable X-Mirror so that when I move something on one side of the arm, it's uh, also moved on the other side. So this deformation is currently applied to both arm. You can check if you have no stretching of your map uh, enabling um, texture uh, preview. And having good references uh, is always a plus when you are working on anything. Don't try to figure out what reality is, just go grab and check uh, photography. They are more accurate uh, than your own reflections about how it should uh, be moved. So I've made those uh, corrections on both sides of the arm and stretching the, the maps here of the elbow and checking if it was working um, as I want. So now you can just uh, duplicate the shape key pushing the value of the first one to one and click the new shape key from mix it will create a new shape key with the same deformation as all the shape key enabled. Now I separate them using my vertex group, assigning half left and half right to the corresponding shape key. And here I have a little bug because I, I haven't mirrored uh, my shape key correctly. Okay, I mean uh, I just <laughs> didn't set the side correctly. So some correction and it was working fine. Then I have started to work on other shape keys. So this first one are uh, muscle correction. Here it's uh, mostly a corrective shape key. So while my uh, knee is bending, I want the, the mesh not to, to cross, okay? <coughs> you will try to avoid clipping. Also, you will increase uh, the volume on the side because uh, your arm won't get, or your leg won't get uh, skinnier or bigger when it is um, uh, bent, okay? So here is another example with the finger. So for the finger, I have created two shape keys, one for the base of the finger with the hand and another for all the phalanges so that it uh, deforms uh, correctly. 
so you need to review uh, the folding of the skin mainly okay and on the top of the, the end I've also uh, uh, softened the tendon strength uh, flattening the end for each fingers um, I've made a lot of them on the shoulders on, on the arm on the face also but not that much because the the ring was pretty uh, pretty uh, nicely done. So next step, now that I have all my shape keys done, I will add a driver to it. Then I select the bone that will drive this value and copy its name. I select my mesh, go into the graph editor, select the driver. set it to average value on the deform channel of my rig using this bone. I passed the name. I will use its X rotation in its local space and here I can see the value outputted by this new driver. Now I will uh, slightly tweak um, this um, value using a generator in the um, in the driver editing panel so here you can see it work but I'm not quite satisfied because the value gets uh, too high too rapidly so I want to soften it so that when the arm is half bent the value is not at 100% uh, and now I have a, a better movement so the nice thing about it is that I can just copy my driver past it on the other arm select it in the drivers, that's really important, and change the target bone with R. That's why a good organization is so important, because <coughs> you will work way more faster like this. So now I can edit my shape key uh, to revise a little the deformation. Very important, you have to be on the shape key here when editing it if you don't do so you will edit your uh, main mesh or you will edit the wrong shape key so be very cautious with this now i have done all my uh, shape keys for muscle deformation we will go forward for um, our skin deformation i have two normal map one in pose and one with contraction. You can see the veins, uh, the fibers on the muscles, uh, the wrinkles on the skin, also on the forearm, and also on the face. I made some wrinkles on the top of the nose, the lion wrinkles, the forehead, the corner of the eyes, and also the corner of the nose. Now what I want to do is have this uh, separation. So I have made a simple uh, mix node uh, to have a factor of mixing those two maps so that I can test them. And then what we will do is that we will separate all this area using multiple maps in black and white where white will be uh, triggering our contraction normal map and the black will keep um, the classical map uh, enabled. Uh, to do so I use a second uh, model in a new Blender file, exactly the same but uh, its shader is on the Blender render and as you may have seen in my former um, painting uh, tutorial it allowed me to use uh, the LSL shading so here it's not super important as I'm just painting uh, factor maps uh, but for painting usually I use uh, another file so that I don't have to switch my uh, um, my material etc and, and have to reset it etc and change the, the rendering engine and stuff like this so I save them in black and white pretty important to save as much space as possible because we will have like I don't know 20 or 30 maps so having a 5 kilo octave map is better than having a 5 megabat map 
you will um, you will saturate your graphic card if you don't do so. So now I will uh, load all of this map in a cycle material and name them properly. It's about organization as usual. Here I'm using different uh, UV maps. If you want to use them, just copy the name of the correct UV map and use an attribute node and copy the name of this UV map. It allows you to use uh, different uh, UVs um, in Blender. Here I've just pressed Ctrl G to create a node based on all I have selected. And I am I'm just connecting all, the op all my maps output to uh, this new node output. Again, organization. So what is missing is naming, so I name everything. If you want to make uh, advanced stuff, name everything properly. From the very beginning, even when you are doing just the topo sculpt, uh, name everything. You will save a lot of time. So now I have this uh, nice uh, new node, including all my maps. I will start creating uh, the mixing uh, factor using add to add white on my black and control shift click to create a viewer thanks to uh, this nice uh, add-on, the node wrangle that I truly advise you to enable allow you to uh, to get new tools to organize uh, like uh, framing your nodes and stuff like this setting uh, uh, texture mapping in one click that's really helpful so now I will repeat this process for every single output of my uh, of my map node And as usual, once it's done, I will name everything properly. Once I'm done with naming, I will take the last node and plug it into the mix factor for my normal and normal contraction map. So that every single um, mix add modifier, uh, node, sorry, <coughs> will drive separate uh, area of my uh, skin. So here I made some tests on the lion wrinkles, left one, select the right node, right one, etc. So now I can uh, group all of these to create a new node that will be uh, my normal map generator. So Ctrl G, name the output uh, Orc Normal, and give this node the correct name, Orc Normal Generator. So here it is, all you have seen before is included in this stuff. It's a void to have uh, the main node tree and too complex and, uh, and too messy. So give good names. Now I will get rid of my former normal maps, add this new node and plug it into my normal map input. Let's have some rendering test now. I will go into edit mode of my node. Pressing tab so that I can access what is inside and check uh, the different values and the reaction of my skin shader and it works properly. So now it's time to drive those values. Let's add the driver to the first factor. Let's go into the graph editor. I have previously copy and passed the name of the bone of my nose. So here I have my material that are driven here. Okay, I select it, display the end panel, set an average value. 
using the transform channel of my rig, the e Y location of the nose bone. So uh, I will verify that I've selected the good axis. So it's the Y axis. Now I move it to uh, the maximum position I want to trigger um, the skin deformation and the value is 0 0.005 so I will have to multiply this by 200 to get a good result. So I add a generator and in the multiply factor I put 200. So now if I have a test You see here it's pure white, it's triggered, and here it's pure black. You have to go inside render mode and get outside render mode and get again inside render mode to see the difference when you are using drivers on um, on a map or anything on a factor uh, in your material because it doesn't update um, in real time. That's why I'm going forth and back into uh, rendering viewport mode. And now I will just duplicate my driver, set them correctly using the, the right bones, etc. Just check the values um, and create some combination. Uh, go have a look to my uh, driver, uh, driver tutorial if you want to if you want to have some more information about it. Here I'm just showing you the tips and if you don't know how to set drivers properly you will find the answers on my previous tutorial. And so I have as many drivers as I have uh, maps and here you can see the results uh, combining um, drivers for deformation on, on corrective shape keys and uh, drivers on uh, my normal map using the tips you've just seen. So here are some mechanical uh, animation. I will try to do my best to make a cool short movie with a battle and lip syncing. You can see the tendon on the corner of the of the finger and also on the end they are getting smoother and the veins are are getting bigger when he, he closes his hand. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and understand everything and if not uh, have a look to my previous tutorials and that should be good for you. Hope to see you soon.